on education, your freedom to choose your child's education, even if you aren't as rich as Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama. On health care, your freedom to choose your own doctor without Obamacare. <laughs> On taxes, your freedom to provide for your family without the IRS beating down your door. The internet, keep it free from taxes, free from regulation, and don't give it away to Russia and China. Freedom means free speech, not politically correct safe spaces. Freedom means religious freedom, whether you are Christian or Jew, Muslim or atheist. Whether you are gay or straight, the Bill of Rights protects the rights of all of us to live according to our conscience. Freedom means the right to keep and bear arms and to protect your family. Freedom means that every human life is precious and must be protected. Freedom means Supreme Court justices who don't dictate policy, but instead follow the Constitution. And freedom means recognizing that our Constitution allows states to choose policies that reflect local values. Colorado might decide something different than Texas. New York different than Iowa. That's the way it's supposed to be. Diversity. If not, what's the point of having states to begin with? Now, Hillary Clinton believes that government should make virtually every choice in your life. Education, health care, marriage, speech, all dictated out of Washington. But something powerful is happening. We've seen it in both parties. We've seen it in the United Kingdom's unprecedented Brexit vote to leave the European Union. Voters are overwhelmingly rejecting the political establishment and overwhelmingly rejecting big government. That is a profound victory, and it is one earned by each and every one of you. People are fed up with politicians who don't listen to them, fed up with a corrupt system that benefits the elites instead of working men and women. Yeah. 
We deserve an immigration system that puts America first and, yes, builds a wall to keep America safe. A government, a government that stops admitting ISIS terrorists as refugees. We deserve trade policies that put the interest of American farmers and manufacturing jobs over the global interests that are funding the lobbyists. And if we stand together and choose freedom, our future will be brighter. Freedom will bring back jobs and raise wages. Freedom will lift people out of dependency to the dignity of work. We can do this. 47 years ago to this day, America put the very first man on the moon. That was the power of freedom. Our party, the Republican Party, was founded to defeat slavery. Abraham Lincoln, the first Republican president, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Together, we passed the Civil Rights Act, and together, we fought to eliminate Jim Crow laws. That's our collective legacy, although the media will never share it with you. Those were fights for freedom, and so is this.